This tune is called um, Brawl de Dérité Chevaux, or The Horses Brawl, as it's known in English. Um, I've known this tune for a very long time, as I seem to hear it every time I go to a medieval fair, um, or watch a documentary on the television about medieval times. Um, however, it was written in the uh, 16th century, so you could say, well, late medieval, uh, early renaissance. Um, if it had been English, then it would be medieval. Um, it's not, it's French, and the renaissance had, uh, was, was well underway by that time. The composer was a man called uh, Tuono Albu, which was an anagram of his real name. Um, I don't remember what it was, I can't pronounce it anyway. Anyway, he came from Dijon, the, the place of the mustard, and uh, was very, very uh, prolific. Um, he also wrote um, Branle de l'Officiel, um, which was uh, another dance tune. Um, a brawl is a, a kind of dance tune. Um, it's, it's spelled like Branle, but it's, it's pronounced brawl, apparently. Nothing to do with like fighting brawl. Um, and the other one, Branle de l'Officiel, <laughs> I can't say it, um, uh, became uh, Ding Dong Merrily and High uh, in English, but it, it didn't start its life as a, as a Christmas tune. Anyway, so there's the guy who wrote it. Very, very popular song. Maybe it was one of the hits um, of, uh, of his day. So, I'm going to show you how to play it. There are three parts. Um, eight bars each, so 24 bars in total. It's in the key of G. Um, with some interesting variations. Very interesting, in fact. What uh, you know? What key would you put it in? Um, I'm not really sure. Uh, and it shows you that medieval music and early Renaissance music can be very sophisticated. Anyway, it's a great tune. Tabs uh, will be available on screen for patrons. Uh, and if you want to get a PDF, uh, don't forget to check out uh, the Patreon site uh, as well. Otherwise, I'm just going to walk you through it. Now, I'm playing it in the Campanella style, try to make it a little bit, uh, bit more harpy when we play it. There's no accompaniment, I'm just playing the melody. Now, the first bar, then, um, starts with the open note G, so 4th string G, and goes G, A, B, and B again, okay? So I'm playing two Bs, B on the 7th fret of the 2nd string, and B on the 4th fret of the 4th string. Can you hear that? So that's bar number one. And the next note is C, so I'm going to slide up with my little finger to play on the 8th fret of the 2nd string. And keep the note B here. Okay, so that's bar two. C, B, a and C again, but this time on the fifth fret of the fourth string. Okay, so you see how I'm playing uh, uh, the melody across the first, second, and fourth strings. And that's bar three. So bar three starts with B on the seventh fret of the second string, A open, G, and F sharp on the 6th fret of the 3rd string. Okay, so starting with the note C, at the last note, the 4th beat of the 2nd fret, into bar 3, and bar 4 concludes the passage by going E to D here. And you can see I'm playing the, the F sharp on the 6th fret of the 3rd string, so I can go straight to E, and down to D on the second fret. Okay, right from the beginning again. Okay, and then it repeats. Bar five is the same as bar one. Bar six is the same as bar two. And this time in bar seven, I'm going to go B to G to A to F sharp on the second fret of the second string. And finish with bar eight with two Gs. G open on the fourth and G third fret of the second. 
Okay, so da 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 da. Da, 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 da. Okay, so you've got like a question, question and answer uh, feel to it then. Uh, four bars. And the answer. Oops. That's a question. And that's the answer. Okay. Now I'll play the two different F sharps. The F sharp here on the 6th, because I'm moving to A, so that's keeping the campanella feel going. Okay, and the second time then I play it on the, uh, on the second fret of the second string, because I'm playing the two Gs. Okay, so I go F sharp, G open, and G there. Okay, so that's section 1. Moving into section two, then we're going to play the notes uh, D, C, and B, and A. Okay, so D on the fifth fret of the first string, C on the fifth fret of the fourth string, B on the seventh fret of the second string, and A open, and it sounds like this. And we're going to slide, playing it with my little finger, and I'm going to slide my little finger down to play the note A here. So I can go A, B, C, okay, so A, 5th fret, 2nd string, B, 4th fret, 4th string, and C, 3rd fret, 1st string. And then come back down again, B, A, G, like this. Okay, so that's the first two bars, that's bars 9 and 10. And then we're going to go B into bar 11, A, G, F natural, which is really interesting. It's kind of a shock when you hear it, but I think it sounds great. There you go. And starting with bar 13, then it repeats. And this time then, bars 15 and 16 then, it's a slightly different ending. We're going to play A, G, G again, F sharp, and G twice. So the second part. And that's it. So all the way through for the part two. And into part three then, we've got a ni another nice little change, which is this note here, B flat. And we're going to play B flat and G, uh, A and G. Do that twice. Okay, so all the strings ringing at the same time. B flat, A open and G open. Staying with F sharp again, which, uh, which is interesting. F sharp, G, A. Okay, so that's bar 17 and 18. And then running up slowly from the note D here on the second fret of the third string. D, E, F. F natural. G open, A, and B flat again down to G. Okay, so all together then, so that's 17, 18, 19, and 20. And then that part uh, repeats again from bars, uh, from bar 21. And it finishes with D, E, F natural, G, G again, 
and F sharp, and finishes on G. So it sounds like this. And slowly then right from the beginning. with a chord or a G5. Okay, so that's Horses Brawl. I hope you're going to enjoy learning to play that and I'll see you in the next lesson. Thanks for watching.